guys welcome back to world illuminate 11 i hope you're doing well today and welcome if it is your first time checking out my channel and if it is your first time checking out the channel then please do hit the subscribe button you are very welcome here if you are new to the channel then a really warm welcome to you really glad to have you over on the channel if you're looking to have a personal reading done or any of the other one-on-one -on -one services that i offer you can contact me via my email my website the details are in the description box below so in the early hours of this morning i was woken up to some messages channeling messages from the divine masculines i had quite a number of messages coming through. I was up, I think, between about 3.30 and like 5. And, um, and the message just kept coming through. So, you know, there's a lot that's going on with the Divine Masculines. They are missing their Divine Feminine. They are wanting to change their life. And they have all this love for you. And they are working on moving things forward. That's the big message that was really coming through. And I did put um, the message as well on a message, a channeled message as well on uh, the community page. So do check that out if you haven't seen it. So what we are going to do today, we're bringing in four decks. We're checking in to see what's going on with the energy as we're about to move into this weekend. So we're bringing in um, the Lightseer's Tarot to start off with. And we're going to see what's going on with the Divine Masculines and the Divine Feminines. So thank you, angels. What is going on with the Divine Masculines? What do we need to know? What is going on with the Divine Masculines? What do we need to know? What do we need to know for the Divine Masculines? Thank you, angels. What do we need to know for the Divine Masculines? And then, what do we need to know for the Divine Feminines? Thank you, angels. For the Divine Feminines, what do we need to know? Okay, and then we're bringing as well the breaking out of the Matrix deck. So thank you, angels. For the Divine Masculines, what do we need to know? What do we need to know for the Divine Masculines? What is going on with the Divine Masculines? What do we need to know? And then for the Divine Feminines... What do we need to know? Thank you, angels. Wow, really jumping out there for the divine feminines. Okay. And then we'll also bring in uh, the divine timing deck as well to see what messages are coming through. Thank you, angels, for the journey. What do we need to know? What do we need to know when it comes to the journey? Thank you, angels. Anything else from this deck? Okay, and we'll finish off with a message from your Divine Masculine to see how they're taking charge of their life. You know, these are Divine Masculine takes charge affirmations because they are saying they want to make a change, you know, in that message that came through and, you know, so that they can be with you. So we're checking to see how they're taking charge of their life. So thank you, angels. How are the Divine Masculines taking charge of their life? How are they taking charge of their life? So let's see what cards have come out here for the Divine Masculines. Wow, so the first card that has come out that I can see here is the Eight of Cups. So this is about walking away. This is about them walking away from the things that no longer serve them. They are in this place of make, wanting to make a change and making changes. You know, this can be walking away from certain habits, certain things that they've been doing in their life. They are walking away from coming situations, things that no longer serve them in their life. Certain people, negative people, situations, there is that energy of them making that change. So your divine masculine is showing you here that they are walking away from the things that no longer serve them so that they can move forward towards this life with you. They know they need to make changes in their own life so that they can be with you. And they are doing this as well. The next card that has come out for the Divine Masculines is the Queen of Swords. And I did a reading with this deck as well the other day, and I'm sure this came out for the Divine Masculines. So they are in this time of thinking, of planning, of contemplating. You know, as they are making changes in their life, they are thinking about things they want to be with you they're divine feminine they are contemplating they are planning you know they are in this energy that's what's keeping them awake as well because you know me being up as i uh, as i was that was really the message is coming through about the energy that they're in you know them wanting to pass that message of how they're thinking about you how they're missing you and you know planning on how they can make changes so that they can be free to be with you so they are in this energy as well so they may seem a bit cold you know that's because they are focused on the things that they need to do for themselves the things that they need to walk away from as well so that they can be with you so powerful messages coming through and the next card that has come out for them is the two of wands and this is a powerful card you know this is about your divine masculine making having decided that they want to change in their life you know as you can see there's like a wand that is sort of leaning against the wall there and 
uh, and then the wand in the hand there and that's about you know and looking out the window that's about looking into the future that life that your divine masculine has decided that they want to have you know that wand is that of that choice of that life with you their divine feminine and they want to move forward towards this for them it feels like it's still in a bit of a distance so they are sort of having that vision of that life that they desire but the decision has been made they want to be with you it's interesting as well that there's like a globe you know like an earth the uh, the earth uh, uh, the earth like a globe uh you know that's about them thinking about adventure wanting to travel the world with you they may be thinking about traveling to you their divine feminine if they are far away from you you know they are wanting and there's like a van as well at the bottom there they are wanting that adventure with you a life that is full of adventure a life that is full of love you know, a life that they have chosen that this is the life that they desire, a life with you, their divine feminine. So they are, they have that vision. They've decided, they're making the changes that they need to make to walk away from whatever is still holding them back. And they're moving forward towards you, planning, thinking about things, reflecting, contemplating, you know, working on how they can make these changes, how they can move forward as well towards you, their divine feminine. The next card that has come out for them is the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups really is about them being more in their emotion, their sensitivity as well. And, you know, they are in their emotion. They are the feeling that love that they have for you, their divine feminine. This is why they want their life to change. This is why they're dreaming or looking into the future about that life that they are wanting to have with you, their divine feminine. This is also the card of how they see you as their beautiful divine feminine, their queen of cups. You know, you have all the love for them as well. And they see you that way and they want to be with you. You know, that's the life that they are dreaming about to be with you, their divine feminine. And they want to move forward towards this. And the next card that came out is the three of wands. So we had the two of wands, which is all about making that decision and your divine masculine having made the decision. And then the three of wands, this is showing you that, you know, they've made that decision. They are now in that place of moving forward, planning on how to make the changes that they need to make. So they are in this energy of moving forward towards this life with you, walking away from the things that no longer serve them, the things that they want to change in their life. And they are coming forward to you, their Divine Feminine. So powerful cards coming out here for the Divine Masculines today. The next card that has come out is the Six of Swords. And this is about moving more into calmer waters. This is what they want for their life. They want to move away from a situation in which they they are missing you. They are in their mind a lot. They are not feeling happy enough, as they were saying in that video that I in the um, you know message on the community page, the channeled message. They want to move more into calmer waters, into having the life that they desire, into living that life with you as well. And you know, even in their mind, they are working on moving into calmer waters as well. So that they can really do the things that they are wanting to do. And the next card that has come out for them is the Nine of Cups. So this is about them, their wishes coming true. You're being shown here that they have certain wishes. You know, they're dreaming about that life with you, looking out the window. They are visualizing having that life with you. And, you know, the Nine of Cups is about their wishes coming true. You can see there, that's like that divine masculine throwing their arms up in happiness and, you know, those cups coming in. So they are, their wishes are coming true. You are part of the wishes of the desires that they have to be with you. They are, you are being shown here that that wish is coming true. They are going to have the things that they desire. They're speaking to the universe asking for what they truly desire and it is coming in for the divine masculines and you're being and then the next card that came out is the eight of wands and this is about things moving forward so things are moving forward for the divine masculines as they're working on themselves you know making changes in their life walking away from things that no longer serve them working on their own healing as well there is forward movement for the divine masculines to lead them to this life with you and that is going to bring in happiness so happiness is coming in for them you know, and that's what they are desiring for their life. They are tired of that life where they are missing you. They they just feel that there's something that is not there in their life that they truly desire. That is you. And, you know, they want to live a life that is full of happiness, of, you know, the love and all the things that they desire, you know, adventure. And they're wanting to move forward towards this. So they are dreaming about this. They're wanting to be with you, their divine feminine, and they're working towards this. And things are moving forward. You know, they're doing what they need to do, walking away 
walking away from things that they need to walk away from because the in for them in their within in their mind in their hearts you know they've made that decision and now they're just in the place of planning and moving forward towards you and then the cards that came out for you the divine feminine so from this deck as well so we've got here right so we have the empress so you're coming up as the empress that's you in your nurturing caring energy as a divine feminine this can also be you nurturing and caring to certain things that you're doing for yourself you know certain projects that you may be working on your mission also being nurturing and caring to yourself as well the more you're doing that the more you're nurturing and caring to this uh nurturing your journey as well with your divine masculine because you lead the way so the more you're looking after yourself the more you're nurturing your journey as well helping your journey to move forward so beautiful message that has come out the next one is the hierophant and this is about your spiritual path so you're continuing to keep moving forward on your spiritual path as a divine feminine knowing that you know for you for everything to come in for you it's about you strengthening the bond that you have with the creator continuing to keep growing on your spiritual path so you are moving forward on your path as well. And then the next card that has come out is the Four of Pentacles. So you're being asked to surrender and let go. If you're sort of holding on too tightly when it comes to your twin flame journey or certain other things in your life, you're being asked to surrender. Give it all to the universe. Know that you are on your spiritual path. You have the power of heaven there to help you. The creator is there to bring in all the things that you desire. So you don't have to try and control or hold things too tightly let go and give it to the universe and that is how everything will come in for you 5d which is where you're moving into is all about flow rather than trying to control and trying to make things happen so release that need to control and let go and give it to the universe and then see it all come in for you at the right time and then the next card that has come out is the eight of pentacles so this is also about you working hard you're working hard on yourself as a divine feminine too with your own healing in your own life you know it may be in the on your mission the things that you're working on in your job you know you're working hard as well to help you yourself to keep moving forward on your path so you are in that energy of working hard for yourself as well and you know and on in your own life as well so that you can be able to move forward and the last card that came out for you is the six of pentacles so this is about that equal giving and taking and you know you're learning as well that everything is about giving and receiving in equal measures so you are learning to be in that energy as well the more you're learning unconditional love and you know and you are being given by the universe as well it's about you opening your arms to receive you know being there to give Give, you know giving your kindness giving the things that you can to help others as well you know giving when it comes to your mission the things that you're working on being of service and the more you are giving the more the universe is there to give you back so it's about you being open to receive and also being there to help others and being in that energy of balancing out your giving and receiving even to yourself as well it's always about you know when you are giving to others also give to yourself you know the more you give to yourself the more you will receive as well from the universe so beautiful cards coming through and then the cards that came out for your divine masculine from the breaking through the matrix so the first one is look upon all aspects of your life with optimism and hold high expectations you will find that all issues will be resolved and solutions found so this is powerful this is showing you that your divine masculine is starting to be more in that energy of optimism and having high expectations of the life that they desire the life that is full of love the life that they're dreaming about you know and they are staying positive and that is helping things to move forward as well on their path we saw the cards the eight of uh, cups which is uh, the eight of wands which is all about forward movement so this is about them moving more into that energy as well of you know of optimism and holding high expectations of what they desire for their life you know really being in the place of giving those wishes out to the universe of the life that they truly desire and then trusting that it is all going to come in as well and then the next card that came out for them is work on heightening your sense of awareness and consciously pay attention attention to the signs messages appearing in your life analyze the messages you receive and discern how they resonate with you only you can decide what rings right and true for you so this is powerful this is showing you that the divine masculines are being shown signs synchronicities messages 
by the universe, by the angels to help them on their path. And, you know, and it is about the divine masculines really sort of um, seeing those signs and, you know, listening to the guidance that they are receiving to help them to move forward on their path. So they are starting to do this. They're starting to listen to the guidance. You know, they are getting the messages that are coming in, messages that are leading them to you, their divine feminine, messages that are us, uh, guiding them to make changes in their life so that they can move forward towards you because things are moving forward they want that life with you so they are listening to those messages and they are going for the guidance that is helping them to move forward towards the life that they desire and then the cards that came out for you the divine feminine so the first card that has come out for you here is when you focus your energy on what you can give rather than what you can get miracles happen so this is powerful this is about you being of service they're being there to give kindness to others helping others when you are focusing on that you know that's the message that was coming through about the balancing giving and receiving as well the more you are giving to yourself the more the universe gives to you so and the more you give when it comes to service helping others the more the universe gives to you so it's about you focusing on you know what you can do for yourself to help yourself to move forward what you can give to yourself and then what you can do to help others as well what you can give to others even in the things that you work on and then miracles happen the universe comes in to give you all the things that you desire really beautiful messages coming through for you here the next one that came out is be open to receiving knowledge knowledge information or slash information from unusual and unexpected sources stay alert to interesting new experiences opportunities and people be open to epiphanies light bulb moment light bulb moments and intriguing notions or ideas so this is really powerful divine feminine you're being asked to be open you know there is so much that you're being given as well as messages of guidance when it comes to your journey so the angels are saying be open to receiving knowledge or information from unusual and unexpected sources you may hear a message through music you may watch a video and you get an answer to something that you've been asking about you know you or someone may say something to you you know something really unexpected but you will get the guidance that you need so you're being asked to stay alert and be open to receiving interesting uh, new experiences so and i really feel that this is something that we as divine feminines are really being guided to do right now you know it's about uh, new opportunities coming in uh, and you know new experiences if even people meeting people who are there to help you on your path as well so you're being asked to open to be to be open to receiving all these in all sorts of ways so stay alert you know be an observer of what's going on around you and you know and be open you will get guidance and help even in unexpected ways from people that you didn't even expect so it's about you always being open and the last card that came out for you is you have the power to make changes anytime you choose this is your opportunity to make things happen the way that you want them to happen so what a powerful message you are being shown here that you have the power to make to live the life that you choose to live so you know the more you're choosing to feel good the more you're choosing to make changes that will help you to feel good in your life will help you to move forward towards the life that you desire know that you can bring those things in because you have the power to do so so it's about staying positive and knowing that you have the whole of heaven helping you as well when it comes to your life and then the cards that came out from the divine um timing deck so the first one is let go of fear thoughts become things so that's the same message about staying positive let go of any fears if it's things that you're working on things to do with your life things to do with your journey let go of fear because your thoughts become things the more you're focusing on fearful thoughts that becomes things so the angels are saying stay focused on positivity focus on love release the fears and you know the more you're focused on love and just trusting and having faith the more those are the things that come into your life as well and then the next card that came out is april and rebirth which is powerful this is the time that we're in right now this is a time of rebirth for your divine masculine because this is for the journey 
for your twin flame journey as well it's going through a time of rebirth your divine masculine is going through a time of rebirth you're going through a time of rebirth so there is a lot of change a lot of uh sort of growing up and rebirth happening for your journey to bring in that life that you both truly really desire so really powerful that this has come out and then the next card that has come out is the steps forward card so the angels are saying to you steps forward are happening when it comes to your journey your divine masculine is moving forward towards you your twin flame journey is moving forward the more you stay focused on on love and positivity and release the fears know that things are happening steps forward are happening when it comes to your journey so really powerful that this has come out and the last card that came out is stability ahead so the angels are saying to you steps forward are happening to bring in that stability when it comes to your life so great things are coming in for both you and your divine masculine your divine masculine is working towards that happiness to was that life with you and you know they are making steps forward in their own life and that's leading them to you and you know you're continuing to keep growing on your spiritual path as well that's bringing in steps forward releasing the fears working on being in a place of letting go and trusting in the universe to bring in that love for you at the right time that's all steps forward when it comes to your journey and that is helping you two to come together in the right divine timing okay and then the cards that came out from your divine master masculine about how they're taking charge of their life the first one is I'm walking away from negative people and situations. And that was the same energy that came through as well with that eight of cups at the beginning uh, of the reading. So they're showing you here that they are taking charge of their life. They're walking away from negative people and situations, things that no longer serve them. They are making those changes when it comes to their life. I, and then they're also saying to you, I am here to do great things. So your divine masculine is realizing that they're not here to just live a life that is meaningless. They're here to to do great things to live a life that is full of love to that is fulfilling that brings them all the things that they desire to do their mission as well by themselves and also with you their divine feminine and the mission to help the rest of humanity so they're saying to you i am here to do great things they know this and they're making changes in their own life so that they can move forward towards this and then they're also saying to you, I am putting myself first. So they're letting you know they're really starting to put themselves first, you know, in everything that they do. That's why they're making changes in their life and they're moving forward as well. I'm taking time out for myself to go within, process things and heal. So they're showing you as well that they're working on themselves, putting themselves first working on their own healing, going within, connecting more to their true self. And this is helping them to move forward on their path. And they're also saying, I am letting go of the past. So they're letting go of the past. There is a change that is happening for the divine masculines. They're working on themselves as well. And then they're also saying, I am following my heart and soul's desires. So they're starting to follow more of their heart and soul's desires, you know, releasing the fears that have been holding them back. The more they're growing on their spiritual path as well, awakening and transforming, they're starting to follow more of their heart and soul's desires. And they're also saying, I am letting go of anger, inner conflict, and mental anguish. So they are in the process of releasing all that, the anger, the, the mental conflict that sort of holds them back. You know, the ego bringing in all the fears and, you know, and all that inner conflict and that mental anguish. They are letting go of all this so that they can be able to move forward towards their heart's desires, towards the life that they desire, towards that life with you. They're also saying to you, I accept myself as I am. So, you know, they're learning to love themselves and accept themselves as they are even with the things that have happened in the past they are on their journey of learning to forgive themselves accept themselves as they are and continue to keep moving forward on their path and then they also have here i'm speaking my truth so they are wanting to speak their truth that is to you as well their divine feminine to the people that they need to leave behind where they need to make certain changes in their own life so that they can be with you they are speaking their truth so they are in this energy that they want to with you they want to move forward and speak their truth and tell you how they feel they're also speaking their truth in situations where they need to make certain changes and they're also saying to finish off i desire true love in my life so your divine masculine and that got my throat there they're saying to you i desire true love in my life and they know that that true love is you so they're saying to you i desire true love in my life 
this is what they are dreaming about when they're looking out in the distance you know they want that life with you they desire this true love in their life and they're working towards this they want that happiness they want to be with you you know and spend their life with you and they're saying to you i desire true love in my life and i'm doing what i need to do so that i can have this true love in my life i can have you my divine feminine i hope you have a great day guys i'll see you on the next video love peace positivity and light